Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Uh, and welcome to all, all of Aquarius placements, okay? Mm -hmm. So today's secret reading, the name of it is Prepare for Warp Speed, all right? We have a little bit of a different format today for the secret reading. We are going to go through the channeled messages. I'm gonna go through the tarot and oracle cards. And then um, on members, we will be doing the extended where you guys get to choose one, two, or three. And we're gonna find out what blessings are coming to you what can you expect also get you a self-love word affirmation self-love activities and there's actually two journal prompts um two cards this has a journal prompt on it and then we have a journal prompt card underneath of that as well all right so if you're interested in that um the link will be in the description to join members okay so Let's see, working with fluorite this week is gonna be important or just suggest it, all right? Fluorite helps you to, well, depending on which color you're using, but uh, the green fluorite really helps you to clear your heart space, right? Uh, it helps you to clear your, your mental space as well. Mm -hmm. Helping those upper chakras to come into full alignment, to come into the energy of peace so that your heart can come into harmony, right? And really um, be open to receive the energies from your lower chakras so that you can come into full um, harmonic balance, come into alignment where you feel joyful. You feel like everything is working out. Everything is going your way. Um, even if you don't know the how or the outcome or um, you don't know the whole plan, you still feel safe and satisfied and happy and content right where you are okay so that might be another reason uh, kind of why warp speed is going to be happening because i really feel this week is that week of you really uh just letting go and surrendering and allowing the resistance to to release okay mm, so with that the numbers that came through where's my pen that i just had the numbers that came through were uh, 88, 88, so it came through as four eights, which is uh, 77, okay? That's 16, 16 energy um, of expecting the unexpected, right? And sometimes it may be uh, a job move, it may be a loss of a job, it may be um, a career move, it may be a career decision, it may be leaving a relationship or starting a new relationship. I just heard a new romantic cycle begins, all right, in Libra, so maybe with the Libra, or maybe you're going to start a new beauty routine or you found the routine that you're going to actually stick to and you're like it's set you know this is the third week of me doing my exercise regimen I'm going to keep going you know however that looks for you also 77 is the energy of meeting a divine mandate and you tempering your energy to release um negative energy from your aura, um, pessimism, uh, self-doubt, envy, jealousy, uh, resentment, guilt, grief, shame, blame, insecurities, right? All of that of you going through that process of being patient and allowing yourself to see the limiting beliefs, right? I gotta take a breath. <sighs> I don't know why, I, was, I felt like I was holding my breath. It's so like funny. Yeah, so maybe somebody out there is like holding their breath, like, and you're finally going to be like, I'm going to just release anxiety. I'm going to do something. Maybe swimming is going to be something that's going to help you guys reduce anxiety or boxing or moving your arms, jumping jacks, this kind of thing, releasing the heart through the, through the arms and the hands, okay? Um, that's coming through. Then uh, 4564 uh, came through. Yeah, I'm seeing it as 19, as some kind of illumination with the stability. And there goes that five, that proof of change coming in, but victory is happening. And then there's this four energy, the four cups are showing me. Um, and it's like spirit is really trying to give you an opportunity, but um, somebody is still stuck on the past and they're not seeing the cup before them. But I feel like um, you're almost gonna be pushed out of that situation because you're going to desire um, fulfillment okay because with the 28 coming next with the two is coming in they're showing me the two of cups and that is you like in alignment with your soul and you in alignment with your soul's desires right so that's going to get you to take action on whatever it is that is keeping you feeling like um 
disappointment or things aren't working out, I feel like you're going to shift really quickly into the energy of mastery because I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles with the 28, which brings you to the 10, which is completion, right? So then we have 49 that came through after that. My left ear is ringing. So maybe you're going to receive a message, all right? I'm hearing, uh, please forgive me. I'm sorry. So it might be a message from your inner child or from uh, somebody in your friend group or your family, or you just might receive an apology from somebody from the past coming in. Um, mm -hmm. I feel that they're actually, they're showing me the six of cups energy. So yeah, I do feel like it might be somebody from the past coming in and you, and they may come in in your dreams or you may hear it telepathically as well. Okay. That, that energy, but whatever it is that nine coming in, it's going to heal the self. It's going to allow you to see yourself in a new light and also be able to, to really see that everything that you're doing is working. Um, it's like every little step on um, Bobby Brown is <laughs> coming in. Every little step I take, I will be there. Every little step I take, we'll be together. All right, yeah. So what I feel like with that, it's like spirit is singing to you. Like now you're very, very, very in tune and you're taking these time out to be like, wait a minute, something's off. I'm sad. Something's off. I'm feeling aggravated. Something's off. I'm feeling impatient. Something's off. I'm feeling unmotivated. Something's off. I'm doubting. Something's off. Um, I feel like I'm being attacked, you know, like all of those things are signs that you are either um, holding on to a limiting belief that keeps you in a lack or poverty mindset, all right, that you are limit li limited when you are limitless, or you are holding on to um, some kind of low vibrational energy, <clears throat> whether it be your own, okay, from past traumas and things like that and stuff that has to come out, like fearing, fearing money or fearing loss of money, fearing success or feeling loss of success, you know, these things coming up, or it just could be you holding on to other people's karma and their emotions and you have to literally like spend time in a salt bath or out in nature or you have to work out so that you can release those energies and clear your aura okay um yeah so we just posted on the community post a book that came to me uh it, there was a question in the class that we just had on blending with spirit and writing new moon intentions. Um, we went a bit into manifestation, but we didn't go all the way into it in there. But there were some questions that came up about, um, you know, just keeping holding your vibration, but also getting frustrated when your manifestation isn't coming and it's taking forever and you're feeling like, is what I'm doing working? And then you get into a low vibe and then you're like up and down, up and down. Um, and then the energy of the, you know, like, why can't I just, my desire just be enough? Why do I have to do additional rituals or additional uh, different things to, to manifest, you know? And so we talked about that a little bit as well. And um, it kind of came out to where um, we all desire to be on Jesus level manifestation. You know, um, we say to the Red Sea part and the Red Sea part, but, uh, the difference between us and Ascendant Master Jesus is that he had complete strong faith. He never doubted, not once, not once. He never doubted, not once. And he, his energy was pure, but he also remember he went through all of his time of clearing his light body, of doing the energetic work. All right. Um, you know, of learning the ways of, I believe it was Buddha. Um, you know, he learned all that. He learned meditation. Like the Bible doesn't talk a lot about his pilgrimage uh, when he went away, when he actually was doing his shadow work, when he was going through dark night of the soul. We don't hear a lot about that, but he went through that as well, right? We just, we just know a lot about the miracles that happened because of his strong faith. So it's like, now we're in this day and age where dark night of the soul, like it is very out there that this is what you have to do to make past its way and to become an enlightened, right? And so it's kind of accepting that, but also understanding that there are so many different ways to, um, to help yourself stay in high vibration, help yourself stay in the energy of, of peace, relaxation, calmness, um, a satisfaction, gratitude, joy, relief, um, feeling like everything is okay. There's so many different methods out there that you can use. And I came across a book when I was reading something about letting go. And she happened to mention this book, which is so, per it was like today, it was like, whoa. And we were just talking about this. And it was like, basic, the name of the book, I forget. It's like, um, 
uh, I think it is, what is it? Making your best life without magic spells or something like this. I forget. I put it on the community post, but I feel like towards the middle of the week or something like that, or even if you're feeling called to it, um, maybe read that book because it has some really fun and different ways to uh, get your vibration in alignment to that which you really want but the what it is is it's not focusing on what you want but focusing on getting your energy body right first getting your energy there first uh, clearing the negative thoughts clearing the limiting beliefs clearing the trauma that kind of a thing and getting yourself right there okay right there because when your light body when your heart and mind are very pure then it's going to be very easy to manifest right but if you're trying to manifest while you're also trying to clear all these energies then you're going to come up with resistance you're going to come up with delays you're going to come up with blockages because your energy literally has is holding blockages right so um i think she does a really good job at help like bridging the gap of helping you just really get the energetic body uh, kind of in, in alignment to where you are really ready to identify what it is that you really truly want what it is and you being really honest with yourself about what you want because now you don't have the fear of not getting it so now you can be super honest with yourself about what it is that you want and then you're ready to write those um those intentions you're ready to do the visualizations um you know that kind of thing and also like the way you write your intentions it, it could be a hundred different ways right and there's going to be one way that works for you um if you choose to write your intentions down you know that's always it's always a choice but anyway i think i went like a lot into that that book but it's a it's a really good book it's a short read you could read it in one day or even in a few hours okay <clears throat> or a couple hours because that's we read it in like a couple hours it was really cool and um yeah so that resource is there for you so anyway so then we get to uh, 100 and, or excuse me, 11, 12. So 111. So you might be seeing, you guys are manifesting. You know this, right? Like you totally know this with these eights coming out, the, uh, the spider energy, you're manifesting. All right. Also eight is for abundance, manifesting prosperity and abundance for yourself. And a part of doing that is becoming becoming abundant becoming abundant mindset right so coming into i'm hearing um two hearts become one so i feel like you're really going to be in your magician um queen of wands energy this week as well all right which is like powerful transmutation all right very powerful transmutation of negative energy love it love it love it and then we got again the numbers came out 7 11 and 11 7 which it's 7 on one side and then 11 11 and then 7 so i feel like you're really moving forward towards this wish fulfillment and that wish fulfillment is going to help you um for some of you guys again you're going to catapult forward so it's going to be very fast movement it's going to be like a quantum leap all right prepare for warp speed and then we got 64 15 15 so with that 64 15 15 immediately well, one, I felt like maybe somebody's 64 um, or maybe someone has children that are six and four or something like this. Maybe somebody's birthday is also coming up because I'm feeling that energy. But um, there's a new contract that's coming in and I do feel like it's a contract with the self has something to do with the past life gift or skill that is going to bring you up prosperity and stability that's going to be coming in. All right. And um, yeah, something you've already mastered in a past life. And remember, like reading books, not necessarily reading books to read, but reading books to activate you to to remembrance okay so that's how i always think of a book like i never and this is so funny because i always feel like if i need to know something then um my higher self is going to make sure that i i get the information like if it's something new or something like that and i feel like everything that i read and every course that i take it's already stuff that i've mastered it's just reawakening me to the knowledge that is already in my kashic record right and um so when i'm like um reading these books i don't look at it as uh because sometimes you could get lost especially if you're consider yourself to be a psychic empath you could get really lost or medium and the energy of other people and then you can kind of not 
find who you are because you're reading so many different um, books and methods on the same thing and then you don't know which way to go, right? Because you're like, should I do this or should I do that? I should do this, should I do that? Well, um, one of the key things to remember when you are calling back your soul, okay, and you're calling back all of your power is that you are in all of those books. There's a piece of you in all of those books and they, they make up parts of you, okay? And so there's things in there that you've already spent a lifetime mastering that you already know. And the stuff that isn't for you, just leave it. You know, take the stuff that you, that you just that you just resonates with you and if you have a book that you really like read it over and over again because that book will hold as an act a key of activation for you and every time you read it you will activate some other part of your blueprint within you okay so um like reading the emerald tablet you know uh Florence Scovel Shin, like some people read um, Rich Dad Poor Dad, like it just depends, right? Think and grow rich. Um, wasn't that Bob Proctor, like where like his whole life he just kept reading that book over and over and over again? I think that was Bob Proctor. So it's stuff like that. So it's like um, understanding that this this is a journey, and you're you're meant to enjoy every part of it, but you're also meant to activate deeper and deeper parts of you because we are here for soul ascension and soul alignment. All right. So if you are not growing, if you are not, um, if you don't feel like you're growing. Uh, in the way of expansion, okay, is what I mean, like getting to know yourself more and more and more and more, right? Then somewhere along the way, you have, uh, you've, I don't want to say the word given up, but it's this energy of like, you, you stop believing in yourself that you can have something greater than which you have, right? If you stopped looking within, if you stopped looking to, um, to kind of, uh, to expand within and to go deeper and deeper and deeper, you know, exploring, exploring, exploring yourself, right? And then using books as a way to do the exploration, okay? I don't have no clue why we just went in on that. It just was coming out, guys. It just, I don't know, it was just coming out, but I realized we went like really in on that. So anyway, I said expect change. Then I saw it, hot air balloon. So okay, ascension, raising in consciousness. Then I saw a rabbit. So empress energy. Also, rabbit could be known for fear or for fertility. All right, you, you. I feel like you guys already know what that represents for you. But we are going to get into the cards, okay? Um, and then I heard little bunny foo foo, right? Little bunny foo foo. I don't like it attitude scooping up the filled mice and bopping them on the head all right so there goes that perspective shift all right from um your mood is is your guide if you're in, in like a pissy ass mood your mood is your guide right and that's how you know what you're manifesting or if you're not in alignment if you're not happy if you're down depressed if you're mad or angry you're out of alignment right so it's the process of okay let's go clear let's go relax let's go exercise let's go do something fun da 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 da, -da. so also, that book is going to help you with that stuff if you guys are new to manifesting or if you are just like, you know what, what I'm doing isn't working, I need something, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then I saw a candy wrapper and then yes, I did hear um, Little Wayne, okay, and I was like, wait a minute, spirit, um, this is, no. And then he was like, let's get it on and I was like, oh my God, all right, so somebody's about to hit the sweet spot. I don't know. Um, kind of I kind of know what that means but somebody in, in your relationship either it did say new romantic cycle is going to begin we heard that right so um I don't know if there's going to be any of that going on but there might be just like a very strong attraction to somebody um coming into your life this week okay <laughs> yes okay um and then I was I don't know why but I felt like I asked it was so weird it was like it wasn't like me but it was like but I heard myself it was like I was watching myself as spirit are we going to expect challenges this week and it was like I was waiting I was it was like I, I was observing and waiting for spirit to answer this voice inside of me asking this and I'm like why are we asking that it was so weird but um 
Spirit says we are not expecting challenges. So again, another mindset shift. So this, this I think, is what's causing this warp speed happening this week for you guys because there's a lot of mindset, limiting beliefs that are being released that are going to, like, game changer, limiting beliefs being released, okay? Like, change your reality, okay? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Change your vibration, game changers. And so then I heard uh, lift off and to infinity and beyond, okay, Buzz Lightyear. All right, so you guys are really lifting in frequency this week. And so be gentle with yourself. Easy on me by Adele. All right, be gentle with yourself because whenever we're, we're lifting in frequency, that also means dun, 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 purge. Okay, so you're going to be crying. Um, you might need to write it out. You might need to cry it out. You might need to like self-soothe, you know, in the bath or the shower or just watch a good movie or you might need to just physical rest. Okay, and also lots of water this week because there is such a big a raise in vibration so that you can help the process and not um, that water is going to get that anxiety out and those old programs and that stagnant energy. Also, walking outside it will help. Okay. Um, yeah, joy clears lack and revision. So what's going to be really big this week that will really help you guys is just focusing on joy and knowing that if you're feeling joyful, if you're feeling even just appreciative, you know, because sometimes joy is far, far reach. Like sometimes you just can't get to joy. But if you're just feeling, you know what, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Even just getting there and then, um, you know, then going into joy. If you can't, you know, bring yourself to situations that you found joy. And if you find yourself reliving a situation, revise it to where and see it and feel it as the way you would have wanted it to turn out. And then practice that every time it comes up for you, you relive the happy situation. Okay. So that book I mentioned will also explain that process to you as well. All right. Also, if you listen to any kind of Neville Goddard revision videos or anything like that it's a similar process okay um, and then I I heard uh, 1717 divine purpose becomes clear all right and then um, and then I got the title of the reading and then I heard factual facts star seeds so I'm not really sure what that means but it it's definitely the new moon because when I was like drawing this it's like all black right so I'm not really sure what that exactly means, but maybe it'll come out when we start doing the cards, okay? And then I just noticed, is it like 21 minutes already? Wow. We talked that much. I don't even know. It didn't seem like it was a lot. All right, let me just keep this here. Let me ding the bell, y'all. Oop. It's up against the crystal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So let's see. Who are you this week? What is what is Aquarius this week? Sacred alignment. What did we just say? Let me turn this on. So I just want you guys to be able to really see. All right. Sacred alignment. There, there it is. That's basically what we channeled yeah mm -hmm. okay and let's see what you're coming out of there is and it's the number nine guys okay so the energy of the self the energy of the hermit the energy of the star is here too on his staff right there so wishes fulfilled but also healing and you bringing down the higher consciousness but um when i say that every the you guys are aligning there's a lot of um high vibe like lifts in consciousness like you guys are bringing down your um you're bringing down your i am presence like you're bringing down your higher self so there's going to be a lot of uh union spirit with uh Union with spirit this week where I feel like you're just going to feel so in tune, you know, with everything and your intuition is going to be uh, increased as well. It might be a little bit of that Pisces energy guys giving you a little energy boost, you know, as well, a little intuition boost with Pisces coming in. Yeah. And there was this something that I was, uh, today I was writing, it was like, um, my time is sacred, um, my energy is sacred, my attention is sacred, you know, my body is sacred, and it was interesting, because I never really, um, 
I never really wrote that before, you know, and so I think that a lot of you guys are going to be just seeing seeing yourself from, for the first time and really being um, appreciative of who you are in your journey, how far you've come, how intelligent you are, you know, um, how genius you are, how evolved you are, how enlightened you are, um, but not from like, you know, egotistical way. This is like all humble, like you being able to see um, your, your greatness, you know, and you seeing it like you you are a visionary right and you're able to see a lot of things in people they can't see themselves but sometimes you can't see that within yourself but I feel like this is going to be that mirror week where you're actually going to really see yourself because you're going to feel yourself okay so again a lot of clearing is happening so where where'd they come from what's this past thing that we need to be aware of Make sure you're cutting those energetic cords to the past as well. All right, I heard Michael said take from the middle. I see grace and possibility in all of life's changes. Yeah, so what you guys were just coming out of or what you have just been, um, or what you may be this new eyes this is exactly what we're just saying right like i see grace and possibility in all life changes so our challenges so if this is also you seeing why you had to go through certain things and even if you had to go through like really really crazy things you know you being able to see how you needed that to make to get you where you are today or to get you into whatever this sacred alignment is for you whatever your life purpose is like they always say in order to be a healer you must first heal yourself and so a lot of times healers we go through a very tough life so that way we can have empathy and be able to put ourselves in the situations of others that we are either teaching to heal themselves or we are a conduit for healing right but we we go through these things so that we can learn that that master um empathy right that that master emotion of empathy because if you're not able to relate to the people that come to you right not able to put yourself in their shoes sometimes you're not able to see um to, to receive the information, right? Because it's also an alignment type of thing and also an activation kind of thing. And then also a confidence thing because some, some of this stuff, it's like, it could be just like personal trainer. You know, somebody um, went and they, they build muscle and they lost weight and they got healthy. And that whole blueprint for everything that they did for how they did it, now they have their own business and they're teaching people how they did it. You know, so even in that kind of a, of an example, you could be um, a singing coach, you know, or a singer, and now you're going to be coaching people to get to the level that you were at. You know, um, these things, you had to go through that process in order to share um, your knowledge, but to not only share, but to be confident and um, knowing that you have the wisdom that can help change the lives of other people. Okay. Yeah, that was completely channeled. Whoa. Spirit is coming in strong. I'm going to tell you that. So much. So much. Yeah. All right. So what is it that they know? I feel like this is a confirmation for you of something of where you are right now in this moment as well. Thank you. Yeah, Michael's all over it. So if you're working with Archangel Michael, he's like, yeah, Knight of Coins. So you know, yeah, it's confirmation. Like the universe sees that things have been going slow for you, right? Things taking action, but it's for a purpose. It's and also like this Taurus energy coming through really strong. It's so that you're building a strong foundation. It's so that, um, one, some of you guys are learning how to manifest properly, like how to actually manifest, right? Because maybe you're meant to teach manifestation in some way, shape, or form. Um, others of you, like I said, whatever it is that you're learning to do in your life, you're probably meant to teach that, share that, or create a product around that, all right, in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you, you know that, and it's like, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, all right? That's what I'm getting from him, and I feel like you guys really are are saying like you really know that spirit wants you to like 
to feel that, to know that, that it's what, it, it's what matters in this moment right now. You know, where are you at in this moment right now? Do you feel free? Do you feel happy? Do you feel satisfied? Um, do you feel content? Or are you thinking about your next move? Are you uh, dwelling on the past? Um, are you filled with anxiety and your mind is going everywhere? You know, that kind of a thing. And it's like putting your focus on you where you are right now is the greatest gift that you can give yourself and everyone around you. All right. Cause it's preparing you for this massive, um, upgrade and this change in your life. Right. And this change in your life, um, like I said, for some people, it's going to be like a major kind of like move, move, like physical move in some way, shape or form for others of you guys, it's going to be a massive mindset shift, right? To where you were like on, you were in park and now you reversed out and now spirit is like, go, it's time to go green light. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for some of you guys, like I said, some of this green light stuff is coming into that self-love, self-care so that you can clear everything out of your vibration so that you can be this manifester and call in uh, these things that your heart desires. Because by you doing this, you're teaching someone else how to do it, but you're also going to be able to manifest for other people as well. You know, um, you being able to have a disposable income is going to help you uh, to help your children, right? It's going to, it might help you to, uh, your spouse to be able to go and go back to school like whatever you know what I mean that's just like an example mm -hmm. and also really learning how to root into ground and I feel like how to ride ride the wave ride spirits back ride uh mother earth so it's this energy of learning how to release and let go and let spirit take the wheel surrendering control that's why things do take time um because if you are constantly trying to direct where the energy goes um so to say like the how of it instead of the feeling of it then you might be um directing your energy in the way that is not really in alignment with your heart's desires because there's too much ego involved right and so now it's the energy of the solar plex is really getting healed to where you are living from your heart and you're allowing your heart to guide the way so also um with the energy of the bull coming in i just feel a lot of um I just feel a lot of heart energy coming off of this. I feel a lot of generosity. Like I'm thinking of the cow right now. It just feels like a lot of um, just moving forward with the, in the heart space. And anytime you get out of the heart space, you stopping to do the, the work to get back in your heart space. You know, so if that means doing the forgiveness work, if that means um, doing the uh, authoric clearing, if that means doing the, uh, you know, the physical uh, detoxing, or if that means listening to music uh, to raise the serotonin levels, like whatever that is, or doing exercises to raise your serotonin, dopamine, endorphins, and oxytocin levels, whatever that is, you know. And I, what I'm getting to is that you are not you're you are not approaching the journey. You are not walking through the door to start the journey. You are in the journey. You are on the journey. You are on the path. And when you're on the path, it's like um, rinse, repeat. Okay, rinse, repeat. That's what it is, and that's what mastery is. Like you don't become a master by doing something once and then it's done, right? You do it over and over and over again. And that's how you get the title of master. So some of you guys too, um, online businesses and things like that, where you're going to be uh, maybe using your hands or doing things that are, are repetitious, that kind of thing I feel is going to be very prosperous for you uh, as well. What's hidden? 3300. Zero, zero. So I feel like, you know, it's just saying like mastering, trusting, and uh, taking that leap, right, with the zeros. And also mastering you being uh, my father and I are one. I know that's like one, but I just think of it as like zero. Zero for me, I feel, I just think of ether. I think of the world. I think of completion. I think of, um, I have everything that I need for this journey, and now I need to just go on the journey. I need to step. I need to walk. I I need to ride. I need you know. 
it's moving forward too. Because <clears throat> remember, waves are not stagnant, right? And neither is growing, right? Even if it's very minute, very small, you're still growing. So I think there's going to be a appreciation of your journey this week that, um, oh, we did say that, right? Where you're just going to be appreciative of, like, you finally seeing your growth, I think is what it, what it really is. Like I said, seeing yourself for who you are, but it's like you seeing your growth, you recognizing how much you really have grown. Oh, so what you don't see coming, 28, and there goes that 28, okay, that we talked about earlier. It's peace. Waning Crescent 5. You guys might want to look that up. It's peace. Oh, that's oh, that's beautiful. I just heard take three. All right, so let's get another one. Realization. Yeah, you're going to see something where you, you're going to see, see the keyhole and there's this new universe. And she just walked right up to the keyhole. And it's like she's smaller than the keyhole. So also Ant-Man, um, we went and we saw that the other day. And Ant-Man, he gets small, really small or he get really big. So this reminds me of that. Like you getting really small and you now seeing like how your your accomplishments, you not taking your... Um, the things that you have accomplished in the ways in which you have grown, expanded, overcome, um, risen, and not taking those things for granted. You really seeing them in the light that spirit and your spirit guides see them and the way that your inner child would see that. Okay. And that's a three. Mm -hmm. Faith, worm, moon. Isn't this the worm moon? Is isn't it the super the uh, spicy Pisces new moon is the worm moon, guys? I think it is. Worm new moon. I could have sworn. Um, I had to fact check that, but it's thirty one. You believing in your own magic, and there goes the Empress energy too. See, she's pregnant, and then there goes the full moon. So whatever these new moon intentions are, it's definitely setting you up to um, give birth. You know, at the end of the cycle. Yes, yeah, sorry, setting you up for that Virgo full moon coming in, which Virgo is the hermit, okay? To give birth to yourself, to a new self, a metamorphosis. And we said, we talked about beauty routines and, um, you know, self-care, self-love routines and that kind of thing of you just expanding in that way. Mm-hmm. It's when you expand on the inside, your world expands, you know? It's like the pursuit of happiness, but the happiness comes from being happy within by knowing what makes you happy and pursuing that with, with uh, conviction, knowing that it is so an unwavering faith. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what, what else, what is coming. Ah, uh, no, no. Okay. Ishtama da Doropa. All right. Yeah, work through your fears. New Moon and Scorpio, work through your fears. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. So something emotional that you've been going through. Because these are both water signs, right? that you're going to be bursting through. So that's what's coming. So if there's been something that's really been stopping you, you're it's about to be oh. believe in the impossible blue moon, right? If you don't believe it can it can happen, it won't cuz you don't believe it. And that's a part of manifestation, right? You have to believe it before you see it. You got to feel it before you see it. You got to fully embody it before it's here. You know, um and then it is, I was just going to say something, um, but then I, I stopped myself for a second. But it's like, I know that I've, I have felt myself and imagined myself standing on stage speaking to people more times than I'm probably ever going to do it in my lifetime. But it's something that invigorates me, right? And so it's like, I have done it so many times long before I actually am going to step on that stage, you know? Yes, yes. Nothing will come of this situation. Void course of moon. So I'm going to get a, let me get a thing of that. 
Ishnamota. What is this? Uh, nothing will come of this situation. My left ear is ringing again. All right, another message. Raising in consciousness. Oh, that's a lot, spirit. He said you asked for it. All right, so look at this. Yo, okay. All right, y'all. Um, okay. There is a soulmate. There is a true love out there, okay? There is a true love. There's a counterpart. This almost wants to make me cry. I feel like, remember we said I felt the Six of Cups, I think, in the channel messages and like, so it's this energy of um, some kind of reconciliation like coming in this week, but then you you choosing to walk away from it because um, you don't, you're, I feel like you've already, you've already walked up that mountain with this true love, with this soulmate energy. You've already, already walked up that mountain. And so you actually are holding, you, you actually are, are going towards your dreams. All right. And so right now you're like, I don't really have time to kind of go back up this mountain with you. And then this pushed me back, you know, 12 steps. So this was definitely, um, an addictive type of relationship, you know, when it could have just been inner child. I, I find that when your inner child, um, accords to each other, it's so hard to release the attachment because your inner child, it's abandonment issues, right? Your inner child does not want to let go and neither does theirs, right? But their relationship uh, was imbalanced. So you probably have climbed this mountain many times and this person was like off doing something else. And now they are in their soulmate energy of working on themselves because of judgment. Spirit pushed them into this. They had no choice but to look at their self-reflection and to fix it right because their manifestations stopped coming so now they got to do the inner work because um they're not manifesting anymore right so that also might be why they're coming back into your life because they see that you've done the work and so now they're they kind of want you there to help them climb the mountain but it's not about any resentment or anything like that it's just that you're in a different vibration you're like you know your worth now and um you're confident in yourself and you also know that putting your time or your energy into into something um that was uh draining okay putting going back into that energy 12 steps okay you worked hard to get to that to the 12 steps like um worked very hard that's it that's that's difficult right um that you're going to choose to walk away from this because you know that um 16 unexpected you know that something better you know there's something better and i mean i don't know i'm not really being shown like what's going to happen with that person and you know if they're going to actually make it up the hill and you know have because people are miraculous things happen all the time and they could miraculously quantum leap back into your reality at the vibration that um that you were at at that time you know what i mean but the fact that you are you're you're like, no, I'm closing chapters. I'm writing new books. Like, I'm not even on that book anymore. Like, I'm I'm gone. You know that kind of energy. Um, it's kind of like say la vie, and um, you still have lots of love for this person, but you also know that sometimes walking up that mountain, you gotta go on your own. You know what I mean? And again, like I said, it's not anything. Here goes um. <clears throat> And this bull energy coming back in again. It's not anything of saying like um, any resentment or anything like that. I don't feel that. I just feel like um, you're now looking at. Remember I said in the beginning or in the middle. I said my energy is sacred. My attention is sacred. So now you're seeing your value. Okay. And because you're seeing your value. You're seeing where to put your energy. And where not to put your energy. You know. Because um, I feel like this person might have wasted a lot of your time before. And it took you um, time to. It took you even more time to walk up this hill. Because this person. Um, you had to you had you had to clear you had to clear out those abandonment wounds you had to go through the dark dark night of the soul they might have even activated that for you okay <clears throat> 
So that's what this is. Nothing will come of that situation. That's for, that's not for all you guys. That's for some of you guys out there. Yeah, because you're seeing the possibilities. Leaving this uh, Nine of Swords, look at this. Leaving the Nine of Swords, um, leaving insomnia, indecision, leaving, uh, not looking at things that weren't working out for you, leaving all that behind and you seeing the possibilities um, of your life because you know your value, all right? You know your value, you know your worth, and you're on this, uh, this path of... Um, well, one, not only financial um, independence, but I also feel emotional freedom, okay? Yeah, look at that, emotional freedom away from this five of wands, inner conflict energy, and you're going on to your new beginning of having living from your heart space and manifesting easily because you're a pure mind and heart, right? And your focus is joy. Your focus is feeling good, um, enjoying your life. Your focus isn't, you know, how you're going to get out of the next obstacle. You change that. What did Spirit say? We are not expecting challenges. Like that's a huge game changer mindset when you are expecting miracles. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to end here. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. I hope that you enjoyed this. If this resonated with you, go ahead and hit the like button, uh, hit subscribe, but also let me know in the comments what really hit for you, um, what synchronicities came through for you. All right. And also, um, yeah, what, what hits are you getting too with this energy coming out? I'm, I'm just, I'm very curious to know. So, uh, yeah, we're going to end. I'm going to go. We're going to go on to the seeker and do this one. If you guys are interested in the self-love portion to get some more things to do for this week and also to see what other things are going to be coming for you. I have this red cup. I love it. Flip the cup, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but namaste, everyone. Thank you. Bye.